Hello, and I welcome all those with ears tuned to sound. Welcome back to Record Rumination. I'm Peace for Reese, your host. Today, we've got a new record for you. Caro Caro Benito, Time and Place, released in late 2018. Caro Caro Benito are a three-piece pop outfit from the UK, known for their bubbly pop aesthetic from their first album with, with some tasteful Japanese lyrics thrown in for extra flair. This newer album of theirs released last year is quite a departure from their previous sound. While it doesn't sound like a complete 180 for the band, it definitely has a lot less of the just kind of fun, in-your-face, bubbly atmosphere. This is a little more dreamy, a little more laid back as far as the overall atmosphere is concerned for the album. Now, I will admit, on first listen, this album was a little bit hard for me to get over. I'm used to the band singing about, you know, how much shrimp it takes to eat before you turn pink and playing Tomb Raider. But after a few listens, I can heavily say this album is not only as good as their first effort, in many ways it's a lot better. Outside is the first track that kicks this album off, an electrifying, big, explosive, very shoegazy and atmosphere. It sounds like it came out of the late 80s, early 90s. At first it's very big and explosive and then kind of dies down into these mellow keys that I really, really like. It's a nice 180 as far as the tempo of the song is concerned. Time Today is the next song on the album. It's really kind of a fun little pop piece that makes you want to get up and dance. Once we get to the track Only Acting, the album throws you a curveball. The song offers a very driving, heavy rhythm and also kind of a punk vibe to it that I'm picking up. It starts off kind of following with the first track. It's a little more upbeat, heavier, shoegazy atmosphere. But as you get towards the end, it starts to glitch out and freak you out. I swear, I was driving in my car listening to the song for the first time and I thought that my aux cord or my radio was going crazy. I had to <laughs> unplug my phone. Then when I plugged it back in, heard these loud, loud, high-pitched noises and this just gargled, like glitchy mess of sound that this song was throwing at me. Past that, it's still an incredible song, but first listen, really did mess with my head. Now the first few tracks on the album flowed nicely together. The next song, Dump, is kind of where the first lull of the album hits for me. While it's no, by no means a bad song, I do like the low key instrumentation, the nice background keys, and the kind of chill atmosphere, but is a little bit more boring as far as nothing too crazy happening that the previous tracks gave us. After the song Dump, Make Believe helps us to pick back into the more higher tempo of this album. It offers some really, really nice intro keys that kind of propel this song into a really, really nice chorus. Also really, really like the lyrics of this track. While they may be simple, it's really nice little message about how, you know, sometimes real life can get in the way of The next track, Dear Future Self, has this really cool little synth piano bit at the beginning that goes Doo. The song If I'd Known has this really, really nice, glitchy, crazy guitar solo in it and offers this really nice juxtaposition to the rest of the song, which is kind of dreamy, airy, and lazy overall. And for some weird reason, at the very end of this song, there's some male backup vocals that just appeared eight tracks into the album out of nowhere. I don't really know what that was all about. Now, so far, album has been flowing really well. Only one track it has been kind of... Boring, I guess you could say. Leads us to sometimes. This is the thorn in the album's side, so to speak. Gone is the dreamy production, shoegazy atmosphere, and we're left with this very stripped back acoustic piece with all of the band joining in on vocals. This track I do like. It is a good track, but in the context of the album, this song just kind of comes out of nowhere. With its very stripped back acoustic feel and just vocals, I feel that this sound came from like an acoustic version of the album. It really takes you out of the atmosphere of the album that the previous tracks had helped establish. Now thankfully Sometimes is the only song on this album that takes you out of the atmosphere. And right after that track, Swimming helps kick back the dreamy vibe that this album had going for it. This tune is one of my favorites on this album. And I really do feel that this song is appropriately titled Swimming because due to the keyboards, the low key instrumentation, and the overall vibe of this song, it really does make one feel as though they're kind of swimming their way through this track. Alright, and finally we're at the last track of the album, Rest Stop. Gotta be honest, this song kind of starts off a little bit boring, but then kind of escalates into this nice kind of glitchy finish that it kind of comes out of left field. While I do think it's a nice finisher track for the album, I really do feel as though the track Swimming would have been a perfect way to send this album off. 
So that is Time and Place by Caro Caro Benito. Overall, solid, solid album with only a few tracks that kind of bog it down, one that takes it out of the atmosphere completely but is quickly replaced by another that's an excellent track, and the song Dump, which is just kind of boring. It's really, really nice to see the band come through with a solid album after the complete departure of their previous sound. Gone are the Japanese lyrics, gone are the over-bubbly aesthetic, but in place of that, you get really solid tunes, excellent flow over the album overall, and some really, really nice shoegazy inspired dream pop. If you've never listened to a Dream Pop album ever, this one would be a really good go-to. Overall, solid. If I were to rate this album, I'd have to give it a solid 8 out of 10. It deserves it, and it deserves your listen. If you have any albums, songs, or anything, let me know. This has been Record Rumination. I'm Peace for Reese, signing off once again. Miss Winter. What do you think?